databases are free, correct? Yes. Yep. Free for entrepreneurs. So today we're going to talk about three of the databases and Chad's going to give us some uh, high level information and tell you how you can uh, get access to those databases. One is the Entrepreneurship Gale Business Database. The second one is Business Insights Essentials Database. And the third one is LinkedIn Learning. So I am 100% uh, excited to learn about these. So Chad, I'm going to turn it over to you. If any questions come in, Corner to Corner family, pop them in the chat. I'll get him to Chad and he'll try to answer any questions for you, but you got it, Chad. All right, thank you so much for having me. Um, so yeah, my name's Chad. I work for the National Public Library at the Old Hickory Branch. And um, I'm here today as part of a new initiative that we have, it's called NPL Means Business. And the point, the purpose of it is to connect uh, small business owners and entrepreneurs with resources that we offer through the library, whether it's a database databases or classes or resources and other services um so yeah i'm going to share my screen i think jaron i think i need to get up oh, you need to be you got to yeah. re-add you back on here i'll add you back on here up oh, i don't cancel that um there we go And Chad, before you dive into that, are you able to tell me kind of where this initiative began, how it got started and what, I mean, kind of the, I know it's to, to give, like you just said, give entrepreneurs access to some free tools here, but where, where did this idea kind of spark from? Do you know? Uh, we started talking about it right around the, um, after the pandemic started. Okay. Um, so at that, at that point we had, uh, there was an, a, a sharp uptick in um, like micro businesses being gotcha. started by people, uh, you know, people that are um, unemployed or underemployed due to the pandemic or other circumstances. Right. Um, and there, we just saw this, you know, sharp rise all over the country, people starting um, just micro businesses and micro businesses are businesses that employ five or less people and uh, have under a million dollars uh, in yearly revenues. And most of the small businesses, uh, in the country are micro businesses gotcha. so we saw this as a um you know we already have these resources right so this is a, a way to to market it to um those patrons that's good yeah i know i know small businesses are really the backbone of uh the economy so um i'm glad y'all are offering this and i hope a lot of people take advantage of it. is there a end date on this data this kind of this national oh, it's going continuous okay Okay. All right. Good. Well, good. I'll let you dive in and, and uh, do what you do here. All right. Share my screen. Yes, sir. We got it. All right. So um, the first thing I'm going to do is, uh, so the first thing you'll need to do is if you don't already have a library card, yep. you'll need a library card. Um, uh, Two of these databases, the Gale ones, are free to anybody in Tennessee. However, the LinkedIn Learning one, you will need library card, um, a library card to access that. So, um, if you're on our website, it's library.nashville.org, and I'm going to go up to the top here and click Get a Card. And there's two ways you can get a card. You can go to any uh, National Public Library um, location. Uh, you just present a ID and something with your current address on it. Um, so if the address is on your driver's license, that's all you need. Yep. Otherwise you can bring in a bill um, or, you know, lease or something like that. It has your name and address. Uh, if you are, if you want to go ahead and get your card, um, like right now, you can do what's called a digital access card. Yep. And you sign up online and it gives you 45 days um, uh, from then to go and get your card in person. So you can go ahead and sign up and start using our uh, resources. And then you can go to a library location within 45 days and present your um, your ID and proof. Do they um, uh, does the library offer a digital um kind of card, something on like an app or anything of that nature. Thanks, Chad's internet might have went out again here. 
Uh, well, well, we'll wait on him to pop back in. I have a library card and I use it actually quite a bit, but maybe, maybe that is the uh, kind of nerd in me, but I, I still enjoy getting to the library. Let me see his, uh, looks like his internet might've went back out. Chad, if you can hear me, you might want to hop off and then hop back on. You might not know that he's even frozen. Let's see here. Yeah, give us just a second, family. His, uh, his internet is kind of going in and out. How about that? Yep, he just hopped back off. So we'll give him a, another go here in just a second. Um, but again, we're talking today with Chad LaPlantier from the Nashville Public Library. They have an initiative called the Nashville Public Library Means Business. And they have a bunch of databases for entrepreneurs to use um, that are free. Uh, there are so many free opportunities for entrepreneurs and everybody's searching for the paid opportunity. If you don't take advantage of the free opportunities that are right at your fingertips, you are truly, truly, truly missing out. Um, again, and this just takes a library card. Um, I have mine. I had it on my keychain somewhere. Do I have it on my, uh, I don't think it's on my keychain right now and I don't even know where my keys are, but I wanted to show you and let you know, I do have my Nashville public library card and I do use it. Um, I even use the library just for a quiet space to go and do some work um, and, and get uh, some quiet time to myself. Uh, but family and friends, if you, if you are just joining us, stay put, uh, stay tuned. Chad will hop back on in just one second. His internet was giving him some troubles, but we are with Chad LaPlantier from the Nashville Public Library. And again, he's going over some databases in which you can dive deep on from an entrepreneurship standpoint. Uh, in an initiative they call the Nashville Public Library Means Business. But yes, I'll give him uh, just a few minutes uh, because he has all the information. I don't have much of that information, uh, but I am excited to get it from him and learn a little bit more. But again, let me tell you about a few announcements, things coming up with Corner to Corner. Again, November 10th, that's a special day. You'll find out why later. November 10th um, is, is special for two things. One of them I'll tell you now, but the other you'll find out later. One is special because we have our Script to Screen red carpet premiere. Script to Screen is our program where we teach our kids literacy through making movies. So come out to this red carpet premiere and cheer these kids on and give them some uh, insight and upliftment as we watch their movie premieres. Uh, they worked hard on these and they have done a wonderful job at these movie pre premieres. So Script to Screen is November 10th at Studio 615, November 15th is our graduation, academy graduation. If you haven't been to an academy graduation, I feel bad for you, son. I got 99 problems, but being at graduation, they won. I can tell you that. So make sure you get to graduation. It is November 15th. It's going down at Rocket Town. We will be there majority of the day, definitely most of the evening. So come in, kick it with us, kick it with our, our alumni. These our alumni are entrepreneurs who already went through the academy and are newly graduating. Um, students so we are excited about graduation november 15th at rocket town chad is hopping back in with us we'll see if his uh internet lets him work this time if not we might have to try this another day but we're gonna we're gonna check it out now see if he can uh we'll let him unmute hey welcome back chad welcome back hey all right i'm really sorry i'll just need to uh be a co-host again i'm sorry yeah no problem i uh, sometimes well I don't know if it'll help because it's not your your video. It's just you're totally going out. We usually turn out we'll turn off video sometime if somebody's lagging, but it's not your video. It's just the internet's going out, right? Uh, our our connection is just going out here at where I am. I don't know why. It's okay. It's but, okay. We're uh, excited to to still hear about the databases and we'll keep rolling. So yeah, you can dive back in. I think I made you a co-host. All right. All right. So. Um, so to get to NPL mean business, NPL means business, let's do a site search up here in the search box and just click on site and then search for NPL means business. All right, we'll go to this first link here. All right. And so this is the uh, start page for NPL Means Business and has all our uh, resources on it. So this first one is Ice House Entrepreneurship Program. It's like a 
a class. Um, it's eight modules for entrepreneurs to take. Um, we have our book a librarian service where you can schedule one on one time with a librarian. They can give you advice on uh, resources. Yep. We also have a uh, MPL means business uh, newsletter as well that you can sign up for. What, what, uh, we, what what's in that newsletter? What what's in that newsletter? Uh, it comes out once a month and it just highlights different resources that we offer. And there's like uh, helpful articles in there too. Okay. And we also, okay. I think uh, we're going to try to start um, showcasing different small business owners and entrepreneurs. Okay. Awesome. An another, another, another free tool. So yeah, that's, that's awesome. Thank you. Um, and also we have a, this is a link to the books that we have uh, geared towards entrepreneurs. Uh, you can click view more to see more in the library cat catalog. Um, and these are featured databases. And then down here we have links to local state and federal resources for small business owners. So a lot to check out there. Okay. So I'm gonna go right into our databases. So these are just four featured databases right here. I'm gonna click on view all and that's gonna bring up all the, the different databases that we have that are geared towards um, small business owners. Okay. Um, okay, so the first one we're, the first one we're going to talk about is uh, entrepreneurship Gale uh, business. Uh, so Gale is the uh, the database vendor. Um, and the first two databases, uh, this one and the business insights essentials, they are Gale databases and they are free to Tennessee residents through what's called Tennessee Electronic Library. It's uh, funded through the state. Okay. So, I'm going to click on this. It's not going to ask you for your library card. And so this, uh, this, this database is uh, comprised of articles and resources from journals, newspapers, magazines, and reference books. And it's tailored towards the small business owner or entrepreneur. Okay. Um, it has a searchable business glossary. It has a way to browse through uh, business topics. And um, so it's kind of for someone who needs more info on how to start a business or um, someone who already has a business who's, who's looking for more information about um, you know, different strategies. Mm. Um, so, so, so it's set a, up- Is this a search engine for businesses, kind of? Yeah, it has a search engine um, and uh, it searches um, reference books. Okay. Uh, business journals and um, newspapers. Okay, okay, gotcha, gotcha. And so up here uh, in the middle, we have these categories. We have a glossary, browse topics. Uh, those are the two that I'm gonna be showing you right now. The, the glossary, um, if you come across like a term that you're not really sure of, you can, you can go to the glossary, you can search it, or you can just peruse this. Okay. So there's a lot of technical terms that will probably appear in some of these articles that you can get help through this. Gotcha. All right. So I'm going to click on browse topics. Yep. And so you have these four sections. You have business topics, business types, how to, and additional resources. Okay. So um, I'm going to just click on one of these. Uh, just to show you what it looks like. Um, so if you click on uh, franchises. Gotcha. Each page is laid out this way. You have different content types. So you have business plans, recommended resources, magazine and journals. And it just shows you how many uh, items are in each category. And you can also scroll down. Okay, so these are different franchises in our local community, is that correct? Uh, this is uh, nationwide. These are just oh. from like reference books and, um, and newspapers and magazines. But so it'll, it'll actually show you their business plan? Yeah, so I'm gonna click on this oh, one right phenomenal. here. Okay. Pasta Express franchise. Yep. And it gives you the actual business plan. Oh, wow. So that, I mean, that's really helpful um, for an entrepreneur who is getting into, I don't know, maybe not even franchising, but uh, thinking about opening a pasta restaurant. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, that's, oh man, that's like, 
and you can just kind of plug and play with your own information at that point. Yeah, and um, and so um, I'm gonna pull up business types. Okay. Um, and so these are just different uh, business categories. Um, and so let's say I want to start a food truck. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna click on the food trucks. Yeah. Okay. All right, so it gives you some business plan examples. And what I like to tell people about um, about this is to always like look at the date on here. So some of these might be kind of old. Okay. Like 2011. Gotcha. Um, okay. It still might be helpful, but uh, given like how fast things change, you know, that you might want to find one that's a little bit more recent. So yeah. here's one. It's a, a hot dog cart. Yeah. And it's got everything that you're you're going to want in a business plan so if you're doing a food truck and you know you need to present your business plan to um you know to get a loan or something like that you know this is a good a good way to base it all good information to have that's awesome that's awesome this is very and awesome. All, yeah and it also it has if you go down to recommended resources you have these um these articles, like this is from the Small Business Resource Center, How to Run a Successful Food Truck Business. And this is from mm. 2021. Um, and then you're uh, going to have uh, newspaper articles. Yeah, that's, that's okay. That's, yeah, that's, that's crazy good information. Um, all right. And there's also a how-to section. Okay. And they're all set up the, the same way. So when you, when you click on one, you're going to see the same uh, content breakdowns from business plans and recommended resources. Mm -hmm. um, and there's also an additional resources section. And this is good because it has um, these little templates. You have a business plans handbook template. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it basically lays out how you should set up your business plan. Gotcha. Where, okay. where, where the information needs to be um, and everything. Okay, cool. Um, and let me just update everybody. So if, if you just came in, we're doing, um, giving some information on the Nashville Public Library Means Business Initiative. And Chad is talking to us right now about the um, Entrepreneurship Gale Business Database. And if you are looking to, I mean, create some type of business plan. It literally in this database gives you probably the industry that you're trying to go in an example from an actual business on their actual business plan. And there are also some how-to books. We just saw a how-to on how to start a food truck business uh, and a bunch, a bunch of, uh, excuse me, a bunch of other great resources uh, that are again, free. So yeah, Chad, continue. This is, this is great, great information. Yeah, and there's some other uh, templates on here. You have a SWAT template, which uh, SWAT uh, you know stands for strengths, weaknesses, and threats. Oh, no, strengths, weaknesses, opportunities, and threats. Yep. Uh, we have a, a startup checklist. Um, mm. This is always recommended to do before you start your business. Mm -hmm. um, we have cash flow statement, balance sheet, income statement. So just some some helpful templates right here as well. Hey Chad, real quick, can you click on that uh, start? small business uh startup checklist i just want to see what it's uh a couple things that might be on there okay oh, okay got it got it got it okay okay kind of it kind of gives you a uh yes no and kind of helps you to weigh the pros and cons it looks like as well yeah and so a lot of uh you know a lot of um mm. when you're when you're going into a small business that the experts really want you to you know fill something like this out just so you know what you're getting into, uh, if you have everything ready, um, it's just a good a good thing to fill out uh, just for your own um, uh, purposes as well. Mm -hmm. um, all right. Perfect. Thank you for sharing that. Yeah, I, I kind of did that for selfish purposes. As the alumni director, I'm always thinking about, especially now, what do you need to start a business uh, more so when you graduate from the uh, our academy? So anyway, that that's good. Thank you for, for that. 
Yeah. All right. Um, so that was uh, that was Gail uh, entrepreneurship um, database. Um, and there is another. I'm not going to show you this one, but it's called Gale One File Entrepreneurship. It's a it's a different database. It's still done by Gale, but that's there is a difference between the two. The one I just showed you is kind of geared towards uh, people that are doing small businesses. Gale One File Entrepreneurship is more about uh, geared towards like students uh, mm -hmm. and, and like school or college that are studying business, and it has just they're more like academic. Uh, articles and things like that that it might be helpful to it will be helpful to somebody starting a business but they're just two different databases so just keep that in mind okay cool thank you all right so now we're going to go into uh business insights essentials nice i'm not going to spend too much time on this uh it's a helpful uh database um it is geared more towards an investor uh what it does is it gives you company profiles uh financial reports SWOT analysis, it gives you industry reports and um, uh, market analysis. So it's it's good for the investor. However, if you are a small business owner and you're wanting uh, research, wanting to do research into your industry or to see what your competitor competitors are doing, mm -hmm. um, it's good to, to get this information. Um, so um, they kind of have everything uh, broken up by companies, industries, you can compare companies and industries. There's a business glossary like in the last one. Mm -hmm. So um, so what I'm going to do, I'll just show you what it looks like. I'm going to go under companies and I'm going to do a SWOT report. And I'm going to go down here where it, it shows you like there's 2000 results. There's 2000 companies in here. Most of the companies they have are going to be, they're private companies and publicly traded companies. Um, mm -hmm. So um, I'm gonna do search within results and I'm just gonna pull up Starbucks. Go ahead, Jim. And so this, this is where it's coming from. The, this is from the, the Global Markets Direct SWOT report from July 1st of 2022. So it's fairly recent. Mm -hmm. And um, It gives you the some company information, but also it gives you the SWOT analysis. Mm, okay. And um, so, let's say you are a uh, independent coffee shop, and you're opening, you know, down the street from a Starbucks. It might might be good to know what their weaknesses are. Um, and also any sort of threats or, you know, so it, these are, these are things that could be uh, coming helpful for you. Yeah. It's, it's almost can be used as a, a competitive analysis to see kind of where you at in comparison to your competition. So, yeah. So yeah, that's good. Um, you can do comparison charts between two different companies and also industries. Okay. So I'll show you what that looks like. Um, we're going to do, we're going to compare two to, uh, industries here and so uh, you're going to click on add remove and I'm going to do it on a, a restaurants so I type in uh, when I start to type in restaurants it gives me two there's full service and limited service restaurants so I'm going to compare these two So I'm going to add the next one. So while Chad's pulling that up, we're kind of going through, um, this is the business insights essentials. And it kind of is, it's more so for the investor side of, of the house, but as a business owner, you can use it for different things, especially if you're trying to kind of compare yourself to what the um, market is uh, right now. So if, uh, like Chad gave a good example, if you're opening maybe something like a coffee shop, and you kind of want to understand what are these monsters in the business doing like Starbucks. Uh, and I mean monsters in a large way, not in a, in a bad way. Just mean they're a big company. So this is a great way to compare yourself to other people in your industry and kind of get that competitive analysis going. 
All right, so this is uh, comparing uh, full service restaurants and limited service restaurants. And I think what's interesting here is we had a huge bump in revenue uh, in 2018, 2019. And then of course you see this drop. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and that was when the pandemic started, when restaurants had to close. Mm, yep. But uh, you see these limited service restaurants, they didn't take as much of a hit mm. uh, comparatively. So you can, you can look at it. Um, so these are, this is revenue. You can also look at other uh, metrics. Like um, I like to do this one, which is sales per employee. And mm -hmm. you see that the full service restaurant sales per employee were 68 over $68,000, but for the limited service restaurants, you have $139,000. And, you know, that just makes sense because your um, limited service restaurant probably doesn't have as many people working for it. So you can make mm -hmm. more money um, per employee. That gotcha. Way. Gotcha, um, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, some good information. All right. Uh, and also you can search for... Um, for different industries like i'm gonna i'm gonna go over here to industries and click on all industries and yeah so so yeah let me um yeah corner to corner family if you're just joining in we're just going over a few different databases for entrepreneurs uh from the nashville public library means business initiative so Hop right in. If you missed what we talked about earlier, go back. But you definitely want to put your fingers on these free tools for entrepreneurs. Yeah, sorry about sorry interrupting, Chad. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah so um, uh, these are going to give you. This is just going to. Th these just breaks up all the different industries listed in here, and it gives you uh, industry information, market analysis for them. Uh, you can do a, a search for something, and it's in the search box over here on the left. Uh, where my mouse cursor is and mm -hmm. um you can search by like a keyword or the uh n-a-i-c-s code which is stands for um a north american uh industry classification system it's just how the industry uh has each industry has its own uh number classification number but you don't have to know the number um so i'm gonna just search for food trucks and see what comes up All right, so the first uh, few hits are not really what I'm looking for, uh -huh. but if I keep on going down, there we go. You got mobile mobile food services. Okay, this got might it. Be something that we're interested in. Um, so you get these different industry essay essays. You get. Um, over here on the left, you can click on market share reports, rankings, mm -hmm. news, trade journals. So here's an article, here's a market share report from 2023. Give me one second, Chad. Okay. Will's knocking at the door, go ahead. But keep on, you keep on. All right, so we have uh, this article right here is about mobile food service leaders. Um, it talks about, you know, just industry sales um, over a period of time. In the past uh, about 20 years. Uh huh. And so um, this is just good information to have about what you're, um, you know, what you might be getting into when you when you start one of these uh, businesses and see what the rest of the industry is doing, how it's moving. Okay, cool, 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 solid. All right. Um, so yeah, so that was Business Insights Essentials, and, and uh, like I said, it's it's really good for the investor to have, but also it could give you, a, a, if you're a small business owner or entrepreneur, it could give you um, a lot of good information about your industry um, and, and certain risks and opportunities as well. So. Okay, perfect, perfect, perfect. Still a, a beneficial tool. Um, something to keep in your back pocket, you know, might not use it as much as others, but definitely a usable tool. All right, so let's go back. I think the um, the third one is kind of what a lot of people are probably going to 
lean into the kind of LinkedIn learning piece of it? This is one of our most popular uh, databases for the yeah, library. I'm not, I'm not surprised. I am not surprised. And um, it's heavily used, and it's it's also a very it's also very easy to explain. There's not a whole lot. It doesn't take that. It's it's pretty easy to do. Um, yeah. Well. Well. Yeah. I think people it's it's probably easier to uh, take in that information because a lot of us are starting to use LinkedIn also. So. Um, so yeah, for corner to corner family and friends. Again, we're going over some databases in in the Nashville Public Library Means Business Initiative. So if you missed out, go back and rewind. Now we're about to talk about LinkedIn. If you don't have your hands in LinkedIn right now, you're missing out because this is the actual, it is the social platform where the party's happening for everything business. Um, so Chad's about to give us a little insight on that. All right, so we're back on our uh, databases page and yep. we're gonna go to LinkedIn Learning. And so, uh, I'm just going to click get started. And if you've never, um, this is where you're, you're going to need your library card. Okay. Uh, so I'm going to put in a card number here. Okay. And your pin number is uh, usually four digits. Uh, it's typically it's your, the last four digits of your phone number that you registered uh, with. Uh, it could be something different. You could have changed it. Um, and if you're having trouble uh, remembering your pin, uh, you can always call some of the library. There's also a pin reset button on the uh, account page, mm -hmm. on your account page on the library's website. And if you've never used, uh, if this is your first time logging into LinkedIn Learning, uh, it's the first thing it's going to do is ask you about your interests. Um, and what it does is it, uh, there's a bunch of different categories, whether from like business, marketing, manager, management, leadership, um, software development, um, all these different categories. And you just pick which ones are your interests. And it's going to have you, whenever you log in, it's going to give you recommendations. Like, so it says top picks for you. And you'll just see these highlights. Mm -hmm. Um Okay, so up here, um, we have the home page, which takes you back to the start page. My learning, which um, everything that you do on here, all your courses, it keeps track of your progress. So you're logged in, and if you need to leave in the middle of a course, um, mm -hmm. it'll remember where you stopped. Mm -hmm. This is how it keeps track. Um, also right here, you if, if uh, English is not your first language, you can. There are other options, um, so you can you can take it in Spanish. Uh, there, the videos um, are going to be in captions, and the website will be in Spanish. So, okay. So, so this platform has a bunch of courses on it. Is that correct? Yeah. So LinkedIn Learning, um, all it is is courses. So it's. Um, I'm going to go over here where it says browse, top left hand corner. And we have four different um, course categories. You have business, creative, technology, and certifications. Um, so I'm gonna start at the bottom here um, and work our way back up to business. So certifications, if you're wanting to take a, um, let's say you wanna take the comp uh, TIA certification, like if you're going into um, information technology, mm -hmm. uh, you, can, you can get ready for those certifications with classes on here. And these are, this is just, a sample of them on here. So for, for instance, right here in the middle, uh, you want to get Microsoft certified to work mm -hmm. on Microsoft computers. Mm -hmm. You will click on that and you can click show all and it'll show you all the different classes under that category. Mm -hmm. um, over on technology, the technology section, we have, uh, if you want to learn how to, to code, to uh, create websites, um, you know, if, if you want to learn how to become a database administrator for a, a company, mm -hmm. uh, these are all here. So there's just a lot of stuff here. IT help desk, if you're going into IT help. And the next category is creative. Let's see. All right. 
So these are, you know, graphic designers, mm -hmm. uh, digital photography, uh, music production, um, uh, video, web design, mm. uh, user experience, uh, you know, UX design is a user experience is a, a something a lot of people are going into, uh, you know, how, how people are able to, it looks from the user perspective of how you look at a website and how, um, mm. so it's, that's a, a rising industry. Yeah. So, so this, I mean, basically you can, it's kind of, no, uh, no, but it, it kind of just gives you the, the rundown on, on how to do whatever you want to learn how to do. It looks like. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. So for the business category, we have, um, uh, if you are a, for instance, a, an accountant or a product manager, you can click on one of these and get more classes that are kind of geared towards you. Uh, and then it's, broken up through topics, um, finance, customer service, leadership, mm -hmm. marketing, sales. So I'm gonna go over to small business and entrepreneurship, which is down here in the bottom right. Um, and so this is gonna list all of them. And that has different other categories in here, within here, like entrepreneurship, freelancing. Um, And so, so like, for instance, here's one, it's called Entrepreneurship Foundations. It's mm -hmm. uh, from August, 2019. Uh, it's a popular course. If you want to save it for later, you can click on the save button. Mm. It's going to show up in your My Learning up here. Mm -hmm. If you want to see what it's all about, you know, you can click on it for more information. Okay, so you can, um, it kind of yeah. gives you more information about mm -hmm. it. So right down here, it says course details. Yep. This is a, a, a probably a, an easy class to take. It's an hour, uh, 13 minute class. A lot of these, some of these classes are gonna be longer. Mm -hmm. It just depends on what it is, but this gives you like a kind of an intro. Yeah, that's what you're gonna uh, be going over. Yeah, this this yeah this LinkedIn uh, learning I I I I really enjoyed this. You know what I'm saying? This is a a great tool because a lot of people don't know what they don't know, but now you have accessibility all around you, and this is free. So um, it's a great great tool to to have access to. Yeah, and so there there's just a ton of stuff here. Yeah. Um, okay. And you can also up here at the top, you can do a, a search. I haven't searched for food trucks here, so I don't know what it's going to bring up, but I'm just going to do that. And it might not be helpful. Uh, yeah, there's a class on food truck. Well, yeah. it's, it's like a video, actually. It's two minutes. Okay. It's, I don't know. But there's, there's going to be some, there's 22 results. So there might be some stuff in here about, about food trucks. Got it, got it, got but it. But yeah. Got it. Okay. Okay, good, good, good. So, so yeah, corner to corner family, obviously these three databases are extremely, man, valuable. Um, and uh, a, a free tool, again, all you need is a Nashville Public Library uh, card, and that's free as well, too. Um, and uh, Chad did us the... Uh, gave us the information that we needed to go and get that. So make sure you get the, the library card if you don't have it and take access or, or gain access to all these free databases. Um, Cause man, I love the LinkedIn. I love them all, but the LinkedIn learning one is, is seems so insightful. And, and what was the first one? The uh, Gail business entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Phenomenal. Yep. Yeah. Um, well, good. I, Chad, I didn't know if you had any, any other things you wanted to talk about. No, uh, that's, that's it. Uh, just to, you know, reiterate, like, uh, NPL means business. It's a, a initiative we started about a year and a half ago, and it's, it's, we're just trying to get the word out to the entrepreneurs and small business owners and the national community about the resources that we have at the library. Um, we also have, uh, 
classes. Uh, if you go to our events page um, and check out small business, the small business mm -hmm. category, we have class, we will have classes like we have a once a month, we have a class from Small Business Association where they come to a library and it's also virtual and they talk about different topics that are uh, geared towards small business owners. Mm -hmm. um, so we have different classes like that and um, outside of just what we offer through our uh, databases and books. So. Gotcha. Okay. Okay, good. Well, I know we'll, we will continue to, to push this. Um, I think it's going to be a strong tool for me as, as the alumni director for those new entrepreneurs, helping them to navigate that space. Um, so um, no questions have come through at this point. I'm sure we'll have some on the back end um, as, as we did in the past and I'll, I'll shoot them over uh, to you, Chad, but I'm grateful for you. Thank you for hopping on with us today. Um, and let me, uh, let me get out of here first and then me and you hop, stay on for a second with me, Chad, if you don't mind, okay. but uh, corner to corner family, uh, I'm glad to see you. We'll see you November 10th for Script to Screen Red Carpet Premiere, November 15th for our graduation. Uh, obviously, you'll get tons of information on that through our social media platforms, emails, uh, and other forms of communication. So Corner to Corner family and friends, have a wonderful day. See you soon.